1981 when Brad Whitford and Derek St. Holmes first took a break from their respective day jobs and recorded an album that has since become a fan favorite, if not a cult classic. Fast forward to 2015, they're back at it again with a new album and a tour, opening night of the tour. Welcome Brad Whitford and Derek St. Holmes. Oh, yeah, so good to have you here. Thank you. Now, uh, <laughs> the obvious question is why now? Why now? I'll, I'll explain that real simply. Uh, to Derek and I, you know, when we met back in like probably 75, we, we toured extensively with Ted Nugent. Mm -hmm. We became fast friends uh, and have remained fast friends, probably my best buddy in the whole world. And <laughs> now we live in the same town in Tennessee. Nashville? Uh, yeah, and uh, so, you know, we've been hanging out and of course the, the natural evolution of us hanging out is creating music and stuff. And we began writing and it got to a point where, man, we, we got to we gotta do something, you know? And uh, so, uh, you know, we had our good friend Chopper Anderson on bass here, uh, we kind of knew if, if he would do it, you know, we were going to have him in because we just loved his playing. And, um, and we just started auditioning other people and we rounded out this band here. Really fortunate to have Troy from Tesla playing drums. And, Buck Johnson, who was my mate in Aerosmith, we tore together, and uh, and that was the band that just came together, and and that's what happened. Yeah. So cool. Well, now the new album. I, I read one time that there was enough material left over from the first album to record an entire second album. Did any of that stuff survive, or is this all we, new? New. This is all new. New. I okay. Mean, we, we wrote this the this music probably I don't know a week. And, and most of it in two days. I mean, How many we, songs? Yeah, nine great. songs, ten. We only put nine on the album, but okay. we, we wrote um, ten. But um, we um, we just kind of, whenever Brad and I get together, we love the art of writing songs so much, and we listen to each other. And because um, you know, we, we both come from from different bands where there's a lot of input in some of the bands, and sometimes you get a chance to put some input in, sometimes you don't. Mostly we don't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now so, you do. <laughs> so we said, hey, I want, Brad would go, I want to play this chord up against this. What do you think? I go, I'm so freaking Oh, nice. Yeah, and, but it works, because we, you know, Well, I, I hate to keep using the first album as a frame yeah. of reference, but that's yeah. all I've got. Now, there were a lot of songs on that first album that I would consider radio friendly, like uh, Every Morning, Shy mm -hmm. Away, uh, Whiskey Woman. With uh, rock and roll not being so prevalent on the radio, does it matter anymore the way you uh, approach a song? Does it change the way you uh, no. structure a song? So. No? no, no, we don't. We, 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 we do so what we, we just do what we know. Yeah. And we're rockers from the cradle, yeah. Yeah, really. And um, we're not gonna we're not gonna try and do anything other than what we know because that's has been our passion since we were Absolutely. 13 years old. Yeah. Well, and sonically, the first album was very much bare bones. I, I love it. It's guitars and drums, and you can hear every instrument. Uh, without any crap in between the mess up. Yeah. Are we going with that with the new one? I noticed you got a keyboard player up there. Yeah, that's well, we had a keyboard yeah. on the first one. Oh, oh, yeah. first oh, yeah. one. We didn't take a keyboard player out with us on the okay. first one, but, but and yeah. it's all, all, over, all over the record. That yeah, first all over the record. But this one, we were so lucky that um, we could get Buck Johnson to play, mm -hmm. play the keyboards who plays and, and sings back up in Aerosmith. And, and to have him sing back up on this album up behind me, only strengthens my voice, okay. and I tell you, we have done some really, really incredible vocals on this new album. So it's just a pure pleasure to have him with us and to be able to reproduce the whole album, just like the album, live. Cool. So we're excited. And you guys have both have such an extensive back catalog. I know this is opening night of the tour, but how do you kind of compile a set list? And you, you know, the fans want to hear this, the fans want to hear that. I would, I would be happy to hear the first album in its entirety. Right. But uh, you don't want it. No, we want to, um, I'm saying we're, we're being totally selfish on this tour. And we just want to um, play the first album. We want to play some some of the the songs that we really like off the first one. So we'll probably do four or five of those. Excellent. And it's, it, for some reason, over the next over the course of the next couple of days, if somebody's standing there and calling a certain song and it's not in the set list, we'll put it in. Because, you know, we really haven't had a chance to ask our, our Whitford St. Holmes fans, what um, songs they would like to hear on, on our return. But that's because most of them are in wheelchairs and on oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
there's no rules and no. there's no rules uh, I, for me in the business anymore there's no rules for us we we like I say we we're just going to do what makes us happy and that's our philosophy for this for the on the stage off the stage uh, you know traveling this is the, these are the finest musicians I've ever had the pleasure of playing with and me too. Uh, and and we have such a uh, it, this is this is boys' night out. For, we're having a ball, man. <laughs> we're just having a great time. We have a wonderful crew. We all travel together. It's a you know it's it's very tight knit. We're all very close and respectful of each other. It's just a good time. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I, I don't want to put any undue pressure on you. It's been 35 years since the first album. Can we count on a third album in 2051? We're <laughs> we're we're actually talking about uh, before Christmas of. Actually, going in the studio to record some of our new stuff. Yeah. Okay. Get get a, the next one ready because we have a lot of songs just sitting there, kind of boiling yeah. under already. So, yeah. just because so. we did this doesn't mean that we. I mean, we write every, every day. Okay. So, and it, the the beauty of it is again, we live in the same town, and so you know, for us to go, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Hey, well, come on over, we'll have coffee, and then we'll work on those tunes, and and the tunes just happen. You know, we if we. You know, I heard, uh, you know, quite a few great songwriters say that they try to write a song a day. Okay. We do that easily. That's so crazy. So, <clears throat> and it's just, because, you know, and we do it for um, for our reasons, mm -hmm. you know. We're not trying to be, uh, you know, write a song of, for any particular reason. It just comes out of our soul, and we put it down. Okay. Do you, so. do you have a producer? Are you working with a producer? We, yeah. You're, you're looking at him. You're looking so, at okay, him. This is, yeah. the, this is the Glimmer this is Twins. It. This is the Glimmer Twins, <laughs> okay, yeah. Great. And what, what about a live, uh, something that, uh, you know, uh, combines the old stuff with the new stuff in a live format? Can we... Probably. Okay. A good chance you'll that'll be come come down the pipe because yeah. so I okay. want to record this live. This 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 is like I say, this is the best band I've ever played with. That's so cool. are they challenging you as a musician, as a guitar player? I don't find it. I don't really find it challenging. I find it's kind of like putting on an old pair of shoes. It's a, it's so comfortable for okay. me. So uh, it just I can I, I can do what's in my heart in this band. Uh, and that makes it uh, there's no pressure so that's what and that's the ideal place a musician wants to be yeah, 